All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Just like the title says, in this video, we're gonna be tracking the growth of a plant from cutting all the way to fruit. The particular plant we're gonna be using for this video is a dwarf type determinate tomato plant. It is patio choice. I have some growing here. We're just gonna be clipping it off, sticking it into my existing hydroponic setup and seeing how it grows and flourishes. Stick so around. I've already taken the liberty to cut off some cuttings here. Okay, here's one and here's another. They also call these suckers. This is where from the vine, another plant begins to grow. I know there's questions on whether or not determinate type can continue to grow and, and, deter and become new plants. Most people think that you need to clone indeterminate type because those are the long vine. These are the, the bushy kind. Anyway, I'm gonna place these in the system and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so it's time to transplant these cuttings. I wish there was more of a science to this. I know some people make it out to be rocket surgery, but you just take the cutting and you place it here where, where you see there's moisture, where the water's dripping down, and then I just support it with a rock. From there, the roots will grow down into here, which you can see there are none yet. And it will grow down into eventually where it reaches the water and will get fruit. All right, so it has been just one week, seven days since cutting. You can see quite the root development on each cutting already. And up on top, we have blossoms in just seven days. We'll check back when it grows some more. It's been three weeks and we have some fruit developing. You can see little baby tomatoes there. You can see one back here. Both cuttings have tomatoes. Both cuttings have beautiful roots coming out of everywhere. We got roots there, roots over there. I'll show you underneath. You can see the roots hanging down. You can also see uh, minor amounts of algae on the walls. Um, you could also see that the water does not touch the bottom of the net cup. This is a lot of, this is a question that I get a lot. This is a different style. Normal DWC, the water touches the bottom of the net cup and leaves the, the roots suspended in the water with a aeration device of some kind bubbler. This does not have that. The water level is about down here. The bottom of the net cup, net pot is about here and the roots just dangle in the air and only touch the water until the very bottom. The roots on the top or in this middle area are exposed to the air and they, they just do their air exchange and when they do need water, water is dripping down the roots. I like to call this my, my little air gap method. Okay, I know I'm gonna get some questions in the comments. Uh, any of these products you should be able to find in Amazon links in my description or the first comment. That includes the uni seals, that includes uh, the type of fertilizer I use and how I test it, the PPM meter. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. We'll follow up in a little bit longer when we have ripe fruit. Again, it's only been three weeks, stand by. All right, it has been 42 days since I transplanted those two little cuttings into this hydroponic system. As you can see, there are blossoms absolutely everywhere. This is riddled with blossoms. You can see down there, peeking through a ripe tomato. 42 days from cutting to just one ripe tomato, but a ripe tomato nonetheless. It, it can happen. You can do it. It can happen. This is a dwarf determinate patio choice variety tomato that I took simply a little cutting just like this and stuck it in there as you see in the beginning of the video. This cutting got full nutrients from the beginning, well, both cuttings rather, got full nutrients from the beginning. Master blend 41838 with calcium nitrate and Epsom salt, link down below. Uh, there's an Amazon link down there so you can purchase it or source it or review it. You can see the blossoms are still coming on strong. We have tiny little tomatoes coming in. This down here is, well, a beautiful little tomato. Let me bite into it. Focus, there you go. Absolutely delicious, super sweet, not too acidic. Oh, there's more down here hiding, not ripe. Let's go down here and take a look. I wanna show you guys the roots. I wanna show you guys 
the media. I wanna show you guys how this is all set up so you can do this for yourself. The system does circulate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Remember, it is running full strength hydroponic nutrients uh, between 800 and 1200 ppm. I've been considering moving it up even higher. I run the nutrients the same always, regardless of what stage the plants may or may not be in. So let's go down here and take a look at the roots. I do have this trellised up a little bit. Oh, we got some more down there. Trellised up because it does grow pretty large and it is still growing. This is a massive plant already for 42 days. So let's go down here, take a look. Okay, there you can see the media, just normal lava rock. You can see the water dripping down the middle. There's no barb or anything. I remember I had some older videos uh, showing the barb, but since the barbs have been removed, you can see what's going on. This particular one has hydrogen clay. Uh, this was just using lava rock. Let's look inside. There you can see the roots. Not many roots coming out but beautiful growth. The roots are suspended in the air, like I see in the other videos, and all the way down at the bottom, there is a tiny bit of water that only the end roots um, reach. This is sort of a, a hybrid between crack key and deep water culture and um, Dutch bucket. The water level's just about down here. I used to have a riser tube, so the water level will be up to the bottom of the neck cup but I have since done away with that. And this seems to be working very, very well. Um, let's take a look at those beautiful tomatoes. So really that's all there is to it. I hope you guys can take on the same endeavor. So you guys know that it can happen. You can do it. You can clone these determinate bush style tomatoes and they keep growing and they grow absolutely beautiful. You don't have to buy new plants. You don't have to grow from seed. You guys can just continue to clone your little plants and it's even faster. It's cheaper, it's faster. What more do you want? You get exact clones of your existing fruit. You don't have to rely on the seeds being the same. Anyway, you guys, here it is. Thank you all. Till next time, peace.